So my name is Hannah O'Sullivan. I head learning and development for Volker Vessels UK. So I started getting involved with maximising potential or people management and people engagement probably about 12 years ago now. I've been in L&D for just over 20 years. Um, I've stayed in construction for the last 12 or 13 years, but prior to that I've been with telecoms, with manufacturing, um, and we all face the same challenges. We all have the same people challenges. Um, Maximising potential and getting the best out of our people is at the root of everything, whether it's attraction, retention, engagement, um, project delivery, having the right people doing the right things and feeling as though they're really making a difference matters at every level of our organisation. So it's something that I've been passionate about for the last probably 12 years um, and layering over that with the strengths of individuals and the potential that they have to succeed um, is something that I've become really passionate about. For me, the greatest thing that I've learned is that every day is a learning day and that there's something that I can do better tomorrow than I've done today, every single day. We've got a lot of key challenges in the L&D profession at the moment. Skill shortages is one, um, widening the pool from where we fish in terms of attracting people to our sectors. Um, we've got to look at career development for people. We have the millennial generation who have very different aspirations and hopes and dreams than the, asp than the aspirations that I had when I first started out. No longer do people join organisations to stay for 30 years. They join, get what they can from a business and potentially move on to the next place. But particularly for me, it's about skill shortages, managing talent, keeping our people and attracting them to want to come to our, ourselves as an employer of choice. How do we utilise individuals who have strengths and passions in data, in analytics, um, in technology, in virtual reality, in augmented reality. How do we tackle and, and, and harness and encourage those people to join the L&D profession in order to give best, best value for the business? How do we use analytics? How do we use people's data to really quantify what we do and how we do it? And how do we embrace the whole digital technology that's available to us? Um, how we deliver our learning is important. People want to learn just in time, not when they have to wait to go on a training course. So there's so some real good challenges and some fantastic opportunities out there for the L&D profession at the moment. If we can get people delivering roles and performing in roles that they enjoy, that they are energised at, they will as a consequence deliver best performance to the business. So if you're somebody who's really strategically minded, don't, don't get bogged down in delivering training reports because that's not where you're going to get best value. Get in touch with people and influence the strategy, that's where we're going to get the best out of our people.